Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Minnesota Twins game review. The Minnesota Twins get another victory. That was awesome. What a great night to celebrate Joe Maurer and then of course get the win. Oda Rizzi pitched great as well. What a fantastic game. And now if you look at our record, we are 47-22. and That's 25 games above 500. When was the last time the Twins were 25 games above 500? Honestly, I have no idea, but that is so impressive. I mean, the team played great tonight. It was a come from behind victory, right? We we had a couple of those lately. We had a couple of home runs though as well. That helps. Our pitching did great even on Odorizzi's off night, you know. We still were able to get the job done and we'll go through everything of course like we always do. Uh, and we'll talk about Mauer at the end, so stick around for that. But let's get in to the box score, of course, like we always do. The Twins win. Five to four, five runs on seven hits, three errors tonight, all by different players. You know what? Obviously, errors aren't good. We've had some struggles in the field lately, but you know what? We got the job done, right? Of course, that's what matters. Uh, they had four runs on eight hits and one error, but we, we did it. We did it. We we gave up an early home run, um, but you know what? It's fine. Because we came back, right? Two runs in the first inning. And then we came back in the fourth. We got one back. They scored two more. So it was four to one at one point. But a big two-run home run by Gonzalez. We'll talk about that, of course, later. Polanco scored. And then in the next inning, C.J. Crone comes up with a big hit. Puts us up five to four and we hang on. Oda Rizzi, again, did not pitch his best tonight. I think we can all agree on that, especially looking at his stats. He did not pitch his greatest tonight. He's, I mean... I think I mentioned it in the preview to this series. In the last, like, 10 starts, he's only given up three runs at most in a game. And his last, like, five, he's given up, like, one run. So, tonight, obviously, his off night. But no, you know what? I've talked about it before in, in different videos. Of, I believe in this. When you can win games, keep your team in it. Obviously, when they hit home runs and you've got a team like the Twins, four runs isn't a lot especially when you get one back. So a three-run deficit is not a lot. But when you when you can pitch at your worst and still get the win, that's how you know you're a good pitcher and you've got a great team behind you. So Oda Rizzi went six innings tonight. About average, but he gave up seven hits, four earned runs, two home runs, like I said, including the one in the first inning. He also struck out seven. So the strikeouts are still there. He walked two, but other than that, hit he did great. His ERA bumped up to 224. Unfortunately, he'll get that down eventually, but you know what? S still, he got the win. His 10th win of the season. The only other guy, I believe in the majors, who has 10 wins is Giletto. Is that his, is that his name? Giletto. Uh, for the White Sox, he got his 10th win last night. What can you do about that? I mean, MLB was kind of making a big deal about, oh, he's the first pitcher to 10 wins. Oh, Rizzi had to wait an extra day. But you know what? He got his 10th win. And it, correct me if I'm wrong here. He has pitched 15 games this season. Is that is that right? 15 games. 12 of them have counted for win or loss. And is that it? Or or is, is it 13 games? Is it 13 games or 15? I can't remember. Uh... 13 games he lost the first two and has won every game since then or his team has won and then there was one no decision in there is that correct 13 games he's he's on a tear and that's incredible he has pitched in 13 or 15 games lost the first two and has won almost every single other game this is the Oda Rizzi, I've said it before, that we paid for last year. We didn't get, obviously, the run support wasn't there. But this year, when we can get some run support, we can come back in games. That is a freaking impressive guy right there. And that's, that's like, what, 2013, 2014 Oda Rizzi with the Rays? Whew, we got the talent on our hands right there. But that's awesome for him to get his 10th win. Pitched good. Got the job done. That's all that matters. So May came in in the seventh, had a clean inning, struck out one. Then Parker and Harper came in to finish the eighth. Parker got through two outs, struck out one. And then Harper finished things off with the last out in the eighth. And Rogers came in 
in the ninth. A little bit scary for Rodgers. Had a great day yesterday. Today, not so much, but didn't give up a run. Obviously, that would have tied things up. We had some great help as well. He struck out nobody, walked one, and gave up a hit. But he also got saved because Marwin Gonzalez made a great play in right field. You know what? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is Harper, Rogers, Parker, all these guys who have, you know, a couple of bad outings, they get picked up by their defense, right? And and tonight was definitely one of those cases where Rogers had given up a couple of, you know, he wasn't as hot as he was, but he found a way to get the job done. And same with the defense. So let's go to hitting. Obviously, that's one of the more important parts of the night. I'm going to quickly go through this. Not too much to talk about tonight, but, you know, it's more than last night. So let's go through it. Kepler, his 17th home run of the year. Didn't come on the first pitch of the game. He had to wait until, what, the fourth inning to get his 17th. How many home runs did he hit last year? Was it like 20? I think it was 20 exactly, if I'm not mistaken. Not It wouldn't have been much more than that. So good to see him on track. Obviously, the three home runs in Cleveland helped that, but that's awesome. He's still hovering around that 270 mark. That's exactly where I want him as a leadoff hitter. I still don't think he's maybe the best leadoff hitter, but he's doing what he needs to do to get on base, get the job done, and get runs, right? So that's what he's doing. He walked once, went one for three with a home run. Uh, good for him. Polanco broke his hitting streak yesterday at, what, 14, I believe? Got a hit today. Got an RBI on his double, and he reached base. So his reaching base streak is at 29. That's awesome. Good for him. Next up is Cruz, who went 0 for 4 with three strikeouts. So we skip over him. Rosario, 0 for 3 with a run and a walk. Good for him. Garver, 1 for 4. He had a good night with a run. Gonzalez, obviously I mentioned it earlier, Two-run home run to answer in the bottom half of the fifth inning. That was huge. Uh, that was the first home run of the game. Um, or it was not, excuse me, duh. Kepler hit one in the fourth. Uh, but it was it was the home run that got us back into the game after we were down 4-1. to one. Um, And it was, it, was, it was gone. It was a good hit. Uh, so he went uh, two for four today with two RBIs and a run. Crone had the big... Uh, hit in the sixth inning that scored the fifth run of the game. Um, that was that was great. That's what we needed, and we were able to hang on from there. Uh, Rosario came around and scored. Then Adrianza, who has reached base in, oh boy, I don't remember how many games straight. He's got a he's got an on base streak of his own. Is it sixteen now? Maybe he was at 29. I can't remember. I think it was 16. Uh, but Adrianza reached base tonight with a walk. He went 0 for 2 otherwise um, and scored a run. And then Scope in the 9 spot tonight. So Cruz, um, or not Cruz, Sano and Buxton getting the days off. Uh, he went 1 for 3 in that 9 spot. So a little bit interesting of a lineup right there. But you know what? It did the job. It got, it got us the win. So that's all that matters. And speaking of wins, I know I mentioned it before. We are, well, I didn't mention this before, but I mentioned we got the win. We are 1-0 when retiring Joe Maurer's number. Um, if you guys like stats, I think that's a very important stat. We are 1-0. One, oh. one win, zero losses when retiring Joe Maurer's number. But what a great night. In all seriousness, what a great night that was to see all of the legends of Minnesota. You know, from my childhood, you know, probably yours or at least, you know, when the Twins were semi-good after the World Series and even some of the World Series guys that were there uh, you know, a great atmosphere. I wish I could have been at the game, of course. But, I mean, you you saw legends from, from, like I said, my childhood, the World Series, all the guys that we grew up watching. We got to see on the field, you know, hang out with Joe and, and talk to them during the game. That's awesome. I wish we could do more of that. Obviously, you know, it's everybody's got a life and they can't revolve it around the twins every day. But that that's... It's so great to see, you know, Joe looks great. That was, it was very emotional. Um, you know, I want to know what your guys' reactions were. Obviously, very emotional game, very exciting. Um, but, you know, that's, I mean, that's my guy, right? Like, that's the guy who I grew up watching, and it was so cool to see his number get retired. And hopefully, you know, he's going to go into the Twins Hall of Fame, no doubt. But hopefully he can get into the National League Hall of Fame or the National Hall of Fame, uh, that would be great, but he, what a great guy. It was so good to see him, um, you know, retire his number, 
and all the emotions surrounding it. So that's all uh, I wanted to add to the end of that um, right there. But it was just that was awesome. Realistically, that was that was probably the highlight of the year. To be honest, I mean, we haven't had a walk off yet. So, uh, but that was it was so great. So that's all I got for you today. Um, let me know what you guys think about the game, about the Joe Maurer ceremony. Um, and everything that had to go into this game. Of course, if you missed yesterday's video, check right here, I believe. It's above my head this time. And, of course, subscribe if you like the Twins, if you enjoy my content, if you enjoy what I do here. Let me know, and I will uh, hopefully keep providing you with this sort of content. So that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Again, check out the videos above my head if you haven't already, and we will uh, see you tomorrow for another one.